More practice with percents. Percents are the single most important thing that you will learn this year, ever, of all time. I think it's the single most important thing you'll learn in all of high school, really, that's most applicable to real life. Anybody that will ask the questions about where am I going to use this in real life every single day. But you know what happened first period? First period I asked them, does anybody use a coupon? And they actually, some people didn't know what a coupon was. Does everybody in here know what a coupon is? What? Okay, all right. They had never seen one. They didn't know what it was. I'm just making sure. You would definitely think this is weird if you have never seen a coupon. Okay. Anyways, all right. A soft drink company, uh, just with that saying, you know, be, beware. Okay, a soft drink company uses 12% of its $90,000 budget for advertising. What's the amount of the budget spent on advertising? What's up? Z. Yeah. Let me, let's do it the shortcut way first, and then we'll do it the long way. Sure. Uh, when, we le when we left, before our test last week, I taught you a shortcut for finding percents, right? $90,000. How do you find 12% of $90,000? You just multiply it by the decimal version of 12%. That's 0.12. Just plug that into your calculator, 90,000 bucks, whoa, $90,000 times 0.12, Is that a lot of money to be spending on advertising? Really? How much of the Super Bowl is coming up? How much do they spend on advertising at the Super Bowl? Do you know they spend something like, a? Th how much is an ad? The ad at the Super Bowl is something like three million dollars for an ad. Advertising. Now, raise your hand if you still don't get this way of doing it, doing percents. Let me show you the other way. Let me show you the other way. Now, this is the new way. This is the the high school way, the shortcut, the fast way, right? Let's, let's, check out a, let's check out a way you might have seen in middle school, right? 12%. What's 12% as a fraction? 12 over 100, right? That's what that percent means, 12 over 100. So 12 over 100, right? Now, the amount spent on advertising matches up with the 12 because it's 12% of the total. We don't know how much was spent on advertising, but we do know that there's a budget of $90,000. Yeah, then you cross multiply. This is the other way you could have done it. It's going to end up being a lot longer. Now, now do not, do not take this down. Do not take the next part down. I want to show you some really common mistakes that I saw with people on their test. Okay. Do you know what some people wrote? They did this. I mean, that's one of many. Is that right? No, absolutely not. But it's very, very common. They have, you have all the symbols marked down, but there's no way to solve something like that. In order to solve an equation, you got to have something on this side of the equation. And that's where you got stuck. So don't ever do, don't ever cross multiply and have that be your answer. Okay, now let's do it the right way. Let's do it the right way. Here we go. So we're going to do 100 times x equals 12 times 90,000. That's 100x equals, let's see if I can do that in my head. Right? Can somebody just check me? It is? Ooh, that was brutal. Divide both sides by 100. Divide both sides by 100. Now, what's the secret to dividing by 100? What's the trick? No, dividing. No, I don't know. We take away two zeros. Yeah. T 
take away two zeros, right? And you get x equals 10,800. Same exact, same exact way problem done in two different styles. And I'll take any questions. Does anybody not understand one style versus the other? You don't like this way. It's a lot of work, really. It is really complicated. I personally love doing percents this way. I find it very useful and really easy. Everybody can do it. Let's check out 41. You guys are all going to be driving pretty soon. Yeah? There you go. So you should know things about cars and how to buy cars and percent it off, things like that. A used car. A used car was purchased for $4,818. This was 55% off the new car cost. What was the new car cost? So let's go. So once again, I've just rewritten this in a different way. This is how I would take notes. A used car was purchased for $4,818. This was 55% off the new car price. What's the price of a new car? If that's the case. How'd you figure it out, Eric? Did you, did you take all the multiple choices and just multiply them by 0.55? No. Mm, let's see. Hold on one second. Let's take a look. So, Eric, here's what you did. Right? So, how, how does that, let's talk about like whether our numbers make sense. How could the new car price be less than the used car price? You know what I'm saying? No, it doesn't work like that. It wasn't because he got a good deal. Sulema? No, 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 close. So let's talk a little bit about this. Let's talk a little bit about this. Take a look here. The used car price is 55% off the new car price. The new car, the used car price is 55% off the new car price. Let me show you the equation. Hopefully this will get the juices flowing, right? Here's our new car price new car. If you took the price of the new car and multiplied it by 0.55, you would get the used car price. And then you subtract it. Close. Take a look. Take a look. Does that make sense to you? Right? How do you get the new car by itself? Yes. You divide it. Now, why Is this a different equation than what you've been learning about? I will tell you one thing. All the problems on the sheet will use the same equation, but different stuff will be missing from it. And that's the trick. Okay, so let's divide both sides by 0.55. Divide by 0.55. And how much was our new car price? Yes. Oops. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense for a new car. Is that cheap for a new car? Yes. yes. That's real cheap, isn't it? Do you think you can find a new car for, for 8,000 bucks? No, 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 no. Okay, question 58. Heather, Heather received a discount of 32% on a $34 shirt. In other words, she brought a coupon with her. Period one had no idea what a coupon was. You guys know what a coupon is, right? Yes. Who in here shops with coupons? Of course, I always shop. Nothing better than than, than getting a deal. Okay. Yeah, they get. Okay, yeah. all right. Here we go. Now I got a question for you. For those people that have been shopping and you buy your own clothes, raise your hand here if you buy your own clothes. Okay. Only you guys will understand what I'm talking about. Everybody else who has their parents buy their clothes, you won't know. Okay, but listen along. If you buy your own clothes and you bring a coupon with you. Do they charge you tax first, or do they take the coupon amount off first? Yeah, you go, you bring your jeans up to the register, like you go to Lord & Taylor, Lord & Taylor is famous for this, bring them up, they scan them, and then you, you bring your coupon, they scan your coupon, it takes the percentage off. 
and then they put tax on it. Okay? So, here we go. Let's try and figure out the price of this shirt. Heather received a 32% discount on a $34 shirt. She received a 32% discount. How do we find that? What do we do? Yeah, a $34 shirt. We got to find out what the discount was times 32%. Ten eighty eight, ten eighty eight. Now I got a question for you. Thirty two percent of thirty four dollars. We got ten eighty eight. We're trying to figure out if that's a, if that's like our answer. Is that how much she bought the shirt for? No. Very nice, very nice. I like it. You guys are such savvy shoppers. Such savvy shoppers. You guys could work as the buyers for my department store. We're gonna subtract it. You, you know that that is a job, being a buck. What's up? Whoops. 34 minus 10.88. Okay, 23.12. Good. That's how much the shirt cost, right? That's how much the shirt cost if we were in Connecticut, if we were in New Jersey, if we were in Pennsylvania. They, they don't have tax, but... Nope. Nope. So, so how do we figure out tax? We gotta throw it on afterwards. How much are they charging us tax in this problem? Seven percent. So we're gonna multiply by 0.7 or 0 0.07. You guys are amazing at this. 2312 times 0.07. 1.6184. 1.6184. Now, I gotta warn you about something. You are not allowed to round until the very end in math. Okay, you will get different answers. So now, 2312, am I subtracting that amount off? No, you're adding it because tax. We're just gonna add it on. 2312 plus 1.6184. And what is that really close to now? That's our final part. We're going to round. No, we're not going to round. Nope. Good. 2474. Nice. And there's our answer.